what's up guys on this video what I'm gonna do is show you really quick uh, all the supplements I'm taking and I'll give you a little bit of detail on what each of them do some of them you probably know already some of them you might not know but hopefully you take something from this and and uh, and learn something along the way but let me show you a quick peek of everything that I'm taking so far Okay, on the thumbnail you might have seen this, uh, but I'm not <laughs> really taking all that. This is this is just stuff that I've I got um, at the Fit Expo, and a lot of it I haven't even touched yet or tried. A lot of it seems to be pre-workouts and some uh, fat burners, but we got some mix of just like protein, you know, little protein pouches. Uh, pre-workouts, aminos, uh, I actually believe in aminos, uh, a lot of people don't, are not crazy about aminos or think that they're, they're a waste of money, I don't think they're essential but I do think they will help, uh, I'm not taking aminos at the moment just because I don't want to spend the extra, extra cash to get it but if you do have long workouts, I do believe they not they're not vital but they will help you along your workout so here we got some some pre-workouts uh, some whey protein some of these are uh, quote-unquote fat burners but if you actually look at the uh, if you actually look at the ingredients most of these are just like so for example right there uh, Trying to get that zoom in. All right, well, uh, energy stimulants basically, more caffeine, beta stim, so fat loss support. Let's see what's on here. Niacin, vitamin B12. Uh, so vitamin B12. Think of uh, think of like a five hour energy shot. The majority of what's in that is uh, the majority of what's in that is going to be B12, which is basically just a shot of energy. All right, so let's let's move all this stuff around. Oh, there's some aminos. Uh, let's move all this stuff along the way. Uh, let me show you the stuff I actually take on a uh, daily basis. Uh, so first things first, vitamin C. Uh, I was originally taking this during uh, December when I was getting really sick and cold. And although there's no actual studies that say that vitamin C will help a cold. Uh, there are some studies that show that uh, among athletes taking vitamin C uh, does reduce the cold and reduce the risk of the cold uh, for like the potential along with uh, there are there's some also uh, a lot of other uh, benefits to that. Next thing is a multivitamin again not a necessity. Uh, I just take this in, you know, in case I miss anything along the way uh, throughout my day, throughout my diet. So nothing special. I don't have a, you know, I don't buy a particular brand. This is like nature made. I got this from Kmart, I think. Nothing crazy. Nice and inexpensive. Uh, and like I said, not a necessity. So another supplement that is a staple that I take is omega-3 fish oils. Uh, I take three a day, which is the recommended dosage, and each each one is uh, one gram of fat. Uh, there are multitude of benefits to taking fish oil. Uh, hair better for your hair, nails, skin, eyes. Um, it's supposed to aid in fat loss. These are long-term effects, guys. So you can't expect to take these supplements and then overnight you become, you know, you oh, I got stronger. I feel like my bones are stronger. That's that's not the way it works. Uh, these are supplements you have to be taken over time. I think most of them it takes about 30 days to kick in for you to actually get the benefits. Uh, look it up. There's there's a ton of benefits for taking fish oils. Uh, next thing I take is a joint soother and I have not been taking this 
lately. I just bought this the other day. Uh, this particular one has uh, glucosamine, chondroitin, and MSM. I can't remember. I think it's chondroitin and MSM that they kind of have the same effects. But uh, those three together uh, in no particular order. But what it's supposed to do is help reduce swelling, lubricate your joints, and, uh, and then just keep your bones nice and healthy. Um, or keep your joints nice and healthy. Uh, again, it's something I was not taking. I've not been taking, I want to say, geez, past like four months. But, you know, with that, that creaking you've been hearing in my knee, uh, I think it's a, a time to start taking these again. So that's why I bought these. Uh, this particular one, so this and uh, the fish oil that I take, are just and the creatine, which we'll get to in a second, um, our vitamin world brand I don't again I'm not crazy about any particular brand but um, this particular one you take three a day they have some where you take one a day or two a day it's the same like dosage or, or sorry it's the same uh, amount of milligrams and as far as like uh, what's actually in the products uh, they're just priced a little bit differently if you want to take less pills, if you want to take more pills. Uh, if you want to take less, of course, it costs a little bit more. I'm, uh, I'm whatever about it. I'm a pill popping animal. <laughs> Next thing I have on deck is creatine monohydrate. It's supposed to help with lean mass. Uh, it's going to help you get stronger in the gym, bigger lifts. Nothing like significantly bigger like you're not gonna get a, like a 60 pound weight increase on bench press or something from this uh, By taking it even for a long well if you train right for a long time, but uh, It's supposed to help strengthen but also something that's pretty interesting about creatine monohydrate is it's uh, it's good for your liver It's good for your bones. It's good for your brain and maybe you did not know about that uh, so do not be afraid of taking creatine monohydrate, male or female, uh, but don't overdose on it. So don't, um, don't take it in excess, then you'll start getting liver problems. And also if you're taking creatine monohydrate, you want to make sure that you are um, supplying yourself with enough water. In other words, which you should be doing anyway, drink a ton of water. Uh, so again creatine these are long-term effects. It's nothing that's gonna happen overnight. There's no magic pill guys Sorry to say well, there are some magic pills, but uh, you can't get those over the counter <laughs> uh, So creatine monohydrate Don't don't do that. Don't do that stuff. It's bad And the last supplement which I don't even really consider a supplement is just whey protein uh, I got this from my protein on their website. They had a great deal going on. It was like 40% off and this is a 11 pound bag. I got it for like 50 bucks, I think maybe 60 bucks when I don't buy this I usually buy the uh, I just buy like Costco's brand Cytosport not the muscle milk because that's got too much fat for my macros but uh, I just take um, Cyto Sport. I got cookies and cream, which I'm kind of whatever about. I, I, uh, I'm a big chocolate lover. So the what I've been taking, I would say, the last year, year and a half, was just chocolate protein. And this is cookies and cream. I decided to switch it up. And not that it's bad. I'm just used to the chocolate flavor. So it's uh, it's kind of whatever to me. At times I do take this is when I'm making like sludge. I hardly ever make an actual shake unless I'm really cut for time or really on the go. I, I just like to, I like to eat. So I'd rather make a sludge and throw some, uh, some blueberries in there or something, some frozen blueberries than to, uh, than to drink it. But if you have, for you hard gainers out there, if you have issues, Getting a protein powder and throwing some fruit in there and even peanut butter will help you uh, Help you hit your calorie goal But nutrition facts one scoop which is 25 grams is too fat three carbs and 18 grams of protein Again, nothing nothing crazy nothing out of the ordinary. It's just some whey isolate 
And those are the supplements I take, guys. So here's a quick look at everything again. Yes. Oh, and pre-workout. I haven't bought a pre-workout in a while. Okay. Now that's not to say I don't take pre-workout. Um, I just get caffeine in me before I go work out, whether it be a cup of coffee, a couple of cups of coffee, uh, something like this, and or if you've watched any of my, uh, my old videos of uh, grocery gains where I do a lot of shopping, um, I would get like rock stars or monsters which have caffeine um, contained in them. So I haven't actually bought a pre-workout in a while. Last one I bought was C4, but I do take something, uh, some kind of stimulant. You know, caffeine usually does it. Prior to that, I was just taking coffee to the gym. Uh, not to the gym, but before the gym. Anyways, that's it, guys. That's everything. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up down below. Comment, subscribe, and then I'll see you on the next video.